Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we um, settled our differences with Catalina once and for all, and uh, she, we, we told her that we weren't responsible for the attack on her brother, and uh, which is apparently why she was after us. We also made it to Zipangu, Zipangu and uh, said goodbye to Onriko. So, we're here in the port of Nagasaki, and I want to show you how to get, in my opinion, the best ships in the game. So, first thing we need to do is we need to invest the, both the marketplace and the shipyard, and we definitely want to do that at 50,000 each, because that's going to cause the uh, the ports to go up. I believe you have to get close to 1,000 uh, in both in order for uh, the ships to become available. So, now we don't actually, at this point, we don't need them to win the game, so it's not going to make as much difference in this quest, but when we do Ali's quest, um, or some of the other quests when you're in this part of the world, it definitely makes a huge difference um, when you start to get these. So, okay. Now, you'll notice that we've invested 50000 in each, but it, it, it waits till the end of the month before it actually uh, kicks in, before the investments actually kick in. So, there's one other port that we're going to go and invest in and do the exact same thing. And we're going to go over to the port of Sakai, which is, what is, there, what is a fleet doing all the way out here? Oh, he's on his way home. Okay, it's a Portuguese fleet. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess he was doing some investing out here. So, okay. We're gonna move right over here. Okay, hang on a second. Let me take care of the storm. Now, remember, if you ever run into problems with storms, um, Zaiton, just to the southwest, sells balm. So, and you're gonna be doing a lot of trading in between these two ports. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. Oh, there it is. There's Sakai. And we just go right up here. And we'll wait a minute for the uh, gate to come in. Yep. Okay. Another port for us to invest in. I think this one's a little starts off a little bit better off. Yeah, it starts off pretty good already. So, okay, might be able to sell the second level ships. I'll show you, show you these ships while we're here. Okay, so we're gonna do some investing here, and uh, let's see what we got here. Oh no, uh, let's see if it's a new ship. Yep, there it is. So check it out. This is the equivalent of the La Real. It's actually better than a La Real. Um, the tracking is better, and uh, the speed is better, plus it holds better crew and better cargo. So, this is a better ship. And then there's also the uh, the Canson, which is an equivalent of a light galley. So, if we could get this early in the game, that would be awesome. But, uh, unfortunately, you can't get them until real late in the game. But that's okay. So, we're going to invest here. We're going to invest in the marketplace as well. And once all of these places have um, grown up a little bit, like grown in value... I will show you the trade route in order to make a lot of money. So we're going to do that. And of course, there we are. And yes, thank you very much. Might as well sell our goods here. What do I have? I think I have some I don't know glass beads I need to get rid of. Okay, glass beads aren't very big here, but we're going to use them to drive down the market. Neither is fish, but I'm going to get rid of this fish anyway because I don't really care to have it anymore. So here's some of the goods that you can buy. Yeah, there's silk cloth and silver and stuff like that. You can buy art at a cheap price. I think in one of these ports you can get gold. And I think it's up in Nagasaki you can get gold. But Okay, so we've invested here. It's going to take a little bit of time for um, everything to kick in. So since we really have nothing better to do, we might as well head back to Zaiton. I think we need to get some balm there. We might even be able to advance the story if we head back to Zaiton. If we don't, then I know we have to go back to Europe to advance the story. So Okay, we're going to advance here in Zaiton. It's in the Far East. You may have to go to a different a different uh, part of the world in order to get advance the story, but we'll see. Yeah, so it turns out I actually have to go back to Europe to advance the story, but I do want to show you this part um, where you can get the good ships. And so you can just trade here and then head up to Nagasaki, and I'll show you that route here in a little bit. But Okay, I'm going to take some time and invest in the ports and kind of get them up to full speed. So I'm going to head back up to Nagasaki and do some investing, and I'll be right back when the ports are back at 1,000. Okay, folks, um, I got tired of waiting, so I actually have made my way back to the port of Sofala. You might remember that. We've been here several times um, buying some gold. And I'm going to show you a little trade route, trade route that we can do while we're waiting for the ports to kick in. So what I did was I waited until July 1st, and then I decided to sail over here. I had some glass beads left over, so I need to sell those anyway. So we're going to do that, we're going to drop the market. Now we don't have a tax-free permit, unfortunately. Oops. 
We don't have a tax-free permit, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, we can still get a pretty decent price since we're a duke. On gold. So yeah, we got a good price on gold. And you can actually sell gold for a pretty good price in Nagasaki. Yeah, 333. And you still sell it for about... Um, I don't know. Sell for about eight, nine hundred up there. So it's, it's not a bad price. Yeah, it's a little expensive, but that's okay. Um, and then you can just make this trade route. And again, at this point in the game, we don't really need the trade route. But I'm gonna, I wanted to show this to you guys so that if you did need to make the trade route, uh, you can do that. And uh, it also gives you something to do while you're waiting for the ports to to be invested and to wait, wait till the next month for the ports to to grow. So okay, I'm gonna make my way back to Nagasaki now. You guys know how to get there. I'll uh, show you on the map where it is real quick, just to make sure that you guys know. Let's see here, so you guys can see it. We're in the far east. There it is. So, check out your map real quick. There's where we are, and that's where Nagasaki is. So, I'll meet you guys back in Nagasaki in just a minute. And uh, what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll, I'll show you the second half of the trade route when we get there. Alright, folks, we're back here in Nagasaki. We made it. And uh, let me show you this real quick, so I can show you how we're going to sell our stuff. So we're going to sell our gold, you get a pretty good price for it, you know. Not, I mean, it's not shabby, you still make your money back in one trip, so that's pretty cool. And we're going to do that exercise, we're going to crank up the market real quick. Now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to buy silver, believe it or not. Because silver is a local specialty and it's really cheap. It's even cheaper with a tax-free permit. Watch this. 18 gold pieces, yeah. I mean, that's not a bad deal. And you can actually sell it in Sofala for close to 200 gold pieces. So that's what we're going to do. All right. And then, of course, I'll go back and I'll, I'll take care of that off screen because you guys will need to see that. So, And there you go. So plus, uh, because silver's local specialty, here's why this works. Um, because uh, jewelry, gold and silver are tied in together. So if you buy one... Um, like the prices are kind of linked. Sometimes if you sell like an item repeated or buy an item repeated over and over again, the price will fluctuate. Here the price doesn't fluctuate. If you sell it, because if you sell gold here, because it's a jewelry item, um, and then buy some silver, which is also a luxury item, the prices are going to be consistent. So you're never going to get a cheaper price or are you never going to get a, a worse selling rate? I, ho I hope that makes sense. If not, let me know and um, I'll try and explain it better. Uh, but just trust me, it works. So, okay, now we're going to invest some more. And the next time I meet with you guys, I just want to show you all that trade route. Um, the next time I meet up with you guys, both uh, Nagasaki and Sakai will be at 1,000. So I'll see you guys then, and I'll show you the best ships in the game. Okay, everyone, we're back at the port of Sakai, and uh, the um, industry is at the maximum at each. So we're going to go to the shipyard, and I'm about to show you the best ship in the game. Now we'll start by trying to see if we can get a new one. And there it is, the Takusan. Check this bad boy out. Yeah, it's, it's a steel ship, so you can have, even even with your max 320, you can still have um, room for 700 cargo on it. And um, look at the tracking and the durability, I mean, it's incredible. Uh, or the tracking and the speed, by the way. It also, if you trim everything down, it can carry uh, 1055 in cargo. So not only is it faster, and can turn better, it can carry more cargo than your Venetians. So I would definitely recommend that you uh, transfer. All right. So yeah, we can if we want. We, if we want to transfer, we can just uh, say that we're giving up a ship. And uh, let's see if we have one here. Okay, they don't have a used one for sale, so we're gonna have to get a new one. But I'm telling you, folks, this Takusan is incredible. It's it's just an amazing ship, and um, I would definitely recommend that you get all of them if you can. I'm definitely gonna order a new one. And when I, you, when, if I ever make a return here, I'm definitely going to pick it up. So, definitely going to order Takusan. I will order this model. It's kind of expensive, though. It's going to cost 16 gold bars just to have a ship. So, I can't remember what he said. I think that was right. Okay. So, I get to name my ship. And we're going to call it, since it's this is the BCS... which means it's an awesome BCS ship. So, And because it's a new ship, I get to remodel it however I want. Now, 300 is fine. Uh, you'll still have enough to duel. And 100 guns, yes. And I can have 700 cargo. 
Now it takes 72 days. It takes three, almost three months, two and a half months to build your ship. That's fine because we got other stuff we got to do. So, okay, folks. Well, I'm running out of time, so I just wanted to show you that awesome ship and um, go from there. Next time, um, I'm going to make my way back to Europe because we need to report what's going on with Atlantis to our father. And uh, from then, we will also uh, see if we can advance the story. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.